Hey again. So, um, now we've got it all plugged in. We've got all the leads in the correct array. <clears throat> what I've now done is we've got our serial connection on, as we saw earlier, of course. Um, and we've also got Pi Serial, a Python library for using a serial controller or a serial port, which talks now to this. Um, we've done a very simple, uh, unintelligent implementation. Um, so simply, we connect to our serial port. Um, we set up two very basic definitions, set position and set power. Now, set position it uses the syntax that we grabbed earlier, and set power is the same. The way we grabbed the syntax was simply to put a null modem cable through and connect a second USB to serial and uh, just capture it as you can see here. Um, now, the next step we do, uh, I thought, you know, what would be fun? Well, we can just draw a circle. And here's the code. It's, <laughs> that's just any circle, so just using NumPy. Um, I, I typically use NumPy for other things. I just thought, uh, why not just copy and paste some of the code and get rid of some of the um, parameters. Um, so now, now we have our initialization code. Every time the links connect seems to connect, or links term connects, it sends QP0. Um, I'm unaware of what that means, uh, and I'm sure it's specified somewhere in the docs. The next step we do, and we've, and we will, we because we don't know where the legs are, we decide, okay, why don't we, and this is grouped for legs, so this is one leg on, this is the first leg on the left side, and this is the first leg on the right side. Um, it's done like this because the way they're connected. Um, so we go leg, the number, set it to some position at, and some speed. So this position corresponds to being straight out, this position straight up, and straight out again. So this is the um, the arms direction from side to side, like so. The second parameter is uh, this Oh, sorry, the one that makes it go up, and uh, yeah, okay, fingers are pretty bad for this. Um, then we have it sleep, you know, you'll see that. And um, our drawing task, I haven't got this in because I was actually more interested in making it stand up, and that's what we do here. So I figured out just positions. This isn't very smart. It's just positions of how it stands up. So here it's going to a safe place to stand up and then here we go down to the actual standing um, and the final instruction is to for it to just power down and it close the serial connection so what does this look like well simple let's hit play button and uh, let's go so there we go first step safe position second step get ready to stand third step Stand up. There we go. And uh, we got our little hex pod standing up, and it goes for a rest again. Um, and there we go. We're done. So what we really need to do now is these cables here. They uh, actually, as I said earlier, connect to the potentiometers, and so we can actually write a function that intelligently stands these up um, based on just where this potentiometer is we can determine where this one should be uh, just using some a function that um, does essentially a four bar a virtual four bar linkage across here so the virtual four bar linkage will always maintain so if okay just say we want to go straight out it'll say here's a here's a link here and the virtual link is here and now with this link being at that angle, this link should be at that angle, what is this link here meant to be at? What angle is that meant to be at? So it will hopefully maintain a good angle. Now the problem is that the data is sent via a read-write serial. What I intend to do is get 
as many analog inputs as possible and we'll uh, for microcontroller so in this case this is a large number of inputs this is 12 analog inputs that we need so we need two Arduinos or potentially the serial is fast enough so we've just got to test these things anyway there you go it's a really nice hexapod some is a bit dodgy but you know we'll get there have a good one